Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Most high. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. All right. Let me tell you something about something in a wonderful mood, girl. You, me? Happy as ever because somebody finally got it together. Now, I'm hoping that I don't have to do too much dragging, girl, because last time I dragged, my chair broke. The chair broke. If you know, if you know, you know. But pretty much the other day, I decided I was fed up of waiting. Because from what I understood, Miss Beyonce Giselle Knowles Beyonce! <laughs> was supposed to ship out our things around Thanksgiving. However, American Thanksgiving came and it left. And I was left pondering, where is my stuff? I placed my order on July 29th. I placed an order for things, okay? I ordered $248.91 of items. Let's do, let's do some math. $340.17 in July. It is December. I have never in my life talked to a woman like this. <laughs> I have never in my life had to wait that damn long for a package to come from anywhere, baby. What took so long, Beyonce? Be fulfillment, Parkwood. Why did you guys take so long to ship out the item? On top of me having to wait that long, I had to pay $50 or it was like 40 something, 40 something dollars for customs clearance. Okay, we're not gonna put that on them though. That's, it is what it is, Canada sucks for that. But the fact of the matter is, I ordered July 29th and I'm not getting my stuff until December 6, 2022. 2022? Is that right? 2022. <laughs> Either which way, my stuff is arriving months later. Like, that's crazy. Don't be putting the merch on the website and y'all don't even have the stuff together ready to ship. That's crazy. Like, what? So are you telling me I placed my order, then you guys put it into production and then shipped it out? Craziness. So you guys saw the first video, whatever. I dragged in that one too because I was not impressed with what was in my box, okay? That's been a reoccurring theme in my life. Not impressed with what's in my box. <laughs> So, my package came. I got an email a couple days ago letting me know that it was gonna come. However, I need to give you guys a backstory on that because I tweeted Parkwood Entertainment, even though they ain't got nothing to do with anything because Parkwood and Beef Fulfillment is two different things, but I didn't care, baby. I was gonna talk to whoever's gonna listen. Okay, five days ago, I tweeted and I said, has anyone received their Renaissance Act One merch? Not t-shirts, the other stuff. So I did a poll on Twitter. 40 people responded to the poll. 77% of the 40 said they have not received their stuff from Beyonce. Literally that very same day after my tweet was posted, need I remind you, I get an email stating that my stuff has shipped. Conspiracy? I think not, okay? And here's... The joke, it says some items in your order are on the way. Some, I ordered in July. When I open this bag, okay, it better be everything in there or I want my stuff back in blood. Like this is crazy. I tweeted them and I said, I, I K Y F L L M A O. All of a sudden they shipped three of my four items. Nah, it's been months. I need everything parked with. I wanna hear this mess. So, we about to see what's in this box. I ordered two t-shirts, one of which I will be turning into a corset. So I ordered the same t-shirt twice and two different sizes. I ordered the blanket and I also ordered the fan because my kids broke my fan that I used to like dry my setting spray. And so I'm like, oh, the fan's cute. Let me get a Beyonce fan. I'm not gonna show you guys the bag. Well, here's the bottom of the bag. My address is on there. So we're just gonna ignore the bag. Live reaction to my stuff once more. Okay, give a dump. They weren't joking. I am fuming! Mega, mega fuming! Okay, I'm confused. Is there a refund gonna happen for the thing that they didn't send? Was there an issue with production? Are they gonna send it at a later date? Why are they sending at a later date? There really is only three items in here and there is no explanation as to why the fourth item, which is the one that I wanted the most, the fan, is not in here. Beyonce! So I got an extra large t-shirt, a double extra large t-shirt, and the blanket. The blanket is what I'm most excited about. Let's take a look at the extra large t-shirt. Extra large. So this is the t-shirt. Oh, can we see? 
This is the t-shirt that I bought. It's Beyonce holding a wine glass. Oh, it's pretty big. Oh, it says one. I'm that girl. Period. Okay. I'm that girl. So I actually like this much better than the original shirts that they sent out. This is good. She's huge on there. This shirt is really big. On the sleeve, it says act one. Show y'all with a little horse on it. Okay. It has a little bit of a smell. Kind of almost menthol. -y. What is this? Go! What is this? What is this? What is that on my shirt? Oh my god, what is that? Come on guys. Oh my god. Come on. What is that? What is that? Plastic of some sort? It smells like toothpaste. I don't freaking know what's on this damn shirt. There's something on the shirt that's not supposed to be there, okay? I spent too much money and I waited too damn long for you guys to be playing on my top like this, okay? Not impressed. Again, not impressed. See, yeah, see, who you got working for you, girl? Cause giving you about to lose your job. Somebody must lose their job. This one's giving again. Somebody about to be fired again, girl. Okay, so this is the same exact T-shirt, but it's just double XL. And the reason I got it double XL is because in order to transform her into a corset, I'm gonna need a lot of fabric and. I would need um, interfacing and stuff, so uh, that's why I got it double XL, so I have a lot of workspace to cut. Ooh, Jean my sister's calling me. Hey, what's up? Nothing. Where is your mother? It's her birthday, and she is out shopping. <laughs> say hi to the people, cupcake. What do you mean, say hi to people? I better not be on no video because <laughs> that is not the presentation right now. <laughs> what do you mean that's not the presentation? I'm filming. Yeah, I'm literally in the middle of filming my Beyonce merch video. <laughs> well, the shirts. Stinks, okay? I'm gonna have to wash her, okay? She needs to go in the washing machine. Your pum pum stinky. You guys will see me turn that into a corset probably sooner rather than later. I don't know if I'll get to do it during Vlogmas. Um, maybe one of the videos in the new year, I'll turn that into a corset. Be excited for that, okay? We love a good DIY moment. Thumbs up for a DIY moment. And last but not least, even though it's not supposed to be last but not least, the blanket. Okay, the blanket. Oh, there she is. Okay. Uh, what are these types of blankets called again? I forgot. It's a it's a big blanket, girl. It says on air. Oh, this is the other t-shirt that they released, huh? Oh, girl. Hold on. I have a back. You out. won't break my soul. Ooh! You won't break my soul until it everybody. There she is. I'm that girl. That's the blanket. Lovely, lovely big blanket. Maybe we'll turn this into a frock. Baby, definitely giving turn this into a frock and wear it to the next Met Gala girl. Yes, me at the Met Gala in my Beyonce dress. <laughs> oh, head as big as mine. This is real big. Like, look at the head size. She's literally the same size as me. Look at her. Period, Beyonce. My fan, though, I'm gonna need my fan, and I'm gonna need a refund for the fan as well. Like, I think it's very rude and disrespectful the way that this was, you know, put together. Maybe Beyonce needs to check on me, like she checks on Rolling Ray. Because I'm not doing well, Beyonce, okay? And I even put my ruler earrings on because I was trying to measure why the hell it took so damn long to get my stuff, and then y'all still didn't even send everything that you were supposed to send. I don't mean to drag my good Judy BB, but like, it's giving I'm Farah. Log out. <laughs> and like, you want me to pick up my, my luggage later? Y'all want to send it to me later? Somebody can send it to me? Is that what you're giving? Is, am I Farah? Girl, no ma'am. We're not doing this, okay? Be Fulfillment, Parkwood Entertainment, uh, uh, Ivy Park, Blue Ivy. Tell your mother I said I need my fan, okay? Suri and Rumi. Oh wait, sir and Rumi, <laughs> run me my fan. Do you know what I used to dry my makeup today? Let me show you. Since you guys want to keep my fan hostage. This, I ripped out pages from my journal and had to fan my face like an old lady at church. Not okay. <gasps> oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Come here. Oh my. Oh wow. Look at this girl. Hi. Look at her Uggs. Period. Say period at. No. Say Beyonce. Where's my mommy's fan? <laughs> Nola. What are you doing? Did you have fun? Yeah. Did you wash your hands? No. Look at them. Dutty. Very dutty. Anyway, y'all. I love you all so much, Beyonce. I love you so much. Um, cash at me. <laughs> One million US dollars, okay, to for pain and suffering. I am suing Parkwood Entertainment and B Fulfillment. I'm B Fulfillment. I'm suing y'all, okay? I. I am suing for pain and suffering, okay, because I really need a fan.
Like, one million US dollars can be sent to my PayPal, okay? Get in touch with my people. My people will call your people be fulfillment, Beyonce, ma'am, okay? We need, I need, I need pain and suffering because this is ghetto as hell. And you're not going to sit there and tell me that this is not ghetto as hell, Miss Hot Sauce in my, my handbag, okay? This is ghetto as hell and I, I reparations, reparations. I love you all so much and I'll definitely see you in the next one. Nola, don't you even ever think you're going over there, ma'am? Where are you going? What you getting? There's no Ami over there. Also, my Apple Pencil has been missing and I don't know where to look for it. And I also don't feel like buying another one. So we're going to find it. Praise Jesus. Jesus.